Hello, this is Tolfman Trifold Production with another Blender quick tip. And in this quick tip, I'm going to show you how you can make uh, fluids in Blender. Not like flip fluids, but like water and things like that, but mostly like, uh, you know, if you were to have a simulation of a hot dog with mustard on it, or you have something like slime coming down the wall, and this by using this add-on called the Fluid Painter, which is a uh, which is pretty nice. It's a work in progress, uh, but for what it can do now, it's pretty impressive. I'll leave a link of it uh, below this video so you can download yourselves and check it out. But the installation process is the same. Um, let's go to Edit, Preferences, Install, uh, navigate where you've downloaded it onto your system. Click on Install Add-on, and then once you've done that, let me type in Flip. Oh, not Flip Fluid, Fluid Painter. Here it is at the bottom, just put a check in the box, and it's activated. And it's on the uh, right-hand side of the user interface in Blender, the tool panel. And it's for Blender 3.0 and above, anything below 3.0, it, it won't work. Uh, but it's uh, got a lot of um, parameters to it. We're gonna use, let's just use this cube uh, for our example here. It renders both an even and cycles. And on skin cycles is a bit better, but for the sake of this tutorial, we'll just use EV. And you can see it has the uh, all these settings here showing fluid add panel, showing asset browser, which is the asset browser is, is uh, off to the side here. I'm going to open that up. Uh, left click and drag. Let's minimize all this stuff. Let me see, minimize that. And click on that icon there, go to Asset Browser, click on this uh, arrow, and click on Flip Fluid. And there you go, it's, it's right there. So you have the option of clicking and dragging uh, whatever fluid you want onto your model. Or you can just go down here. Here it says All. When you click when it's on the setting of All, it shows you all the fluids that are available. Or you can just choose a category like slime, has uh, two kinds of slime, regular slime and slime that glows. Uh, human, I'm assuming that would be blood, so it has only one type of fluid for that. Uh, bathroom, got foam, soap, soap plus. Um, yeah, the heater just came on. Hopefully that's not going to be too loud for this tutorial. Actually, let me turn that heater off. I'll, I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. My apologies for that. I thought, it, I thought I turned it off prior to the start of the tutorial, but I didn't. But it's off now. And so let's, uh, let's just stick with slime. Let's close the asset browser. Right click. Join areas. Left click. We're going to stick with our cube. Let's go to EV. So you can see what the slime looks like in full color. And to apply the slime or whatever kind of liquid you want or fluid you want to your object, click on Add Fluid. It turns your cursor or arrow into a pencil. And you just draw and it creates a busier curve. And once you're satisfied with the way the curve looks, scroll down and click on Stop Drawing or click on Tab on your keyboard. So click on that. And now we have our slime fluid here. Now you can change the UVs. It can increase the scale. Let's left click and drag on this to increase the scale of our slime. You can see that as we pull up, it gives us, um, the slime is actually like different kinds of textures or colors like this green color and this like kind of brownish green hue to it, which is nice. Uh, you can increase the thickness of your slime by dragging up on this parameter. Makes it thicker. You can subdivide the slime also. This is what this is for. Drag, click, click and drag. It has more detail uh, to your fluid or to your slime. But once again, once you click on or increase the subdivisions, it'll take a little bit longer to render out. You can increase the roughness of it. Left click and drag on that. You can see it's getting kind of so it's looking like a worm, but it's, it's becoming more realistic when it comes to it looking like slime. And 
Here you can turn on and off your drops active. Turn it off. Uh, smaller drops. Turn it on. Bigger drops. And like I've already said before, all these parameters, whenever you have an add-on in Blender, I think it applies to any version of Blender, you can animate whatever you want to animate in here. Like if you want the slime to move, drop size, you can, as you see, as we pull up and down on our slider here, it kind of simulates movement in the slime. And to animate that, all you have to do is hover your mouse or cursor over that parameter and press I. Once it turns yellow, it's, act, it's got a keyframe applied to it and just move down your timeline. And then pull up again, I again, then as you play, you see it's, it starts to bubble up. So that's pretty nice. Let's hover over here and let's delete all those uh, keyframes there. Uh, drops length, that traces the length of the drops or the rings in your slime. And this applies to all forms of the fluid inside of uh, the Flip Fluid Painter. And you've got uh, parameters here to add more detail to uh, layer A. And once again, it's like an on and off thing. As zero is off, when you click on it again, turn to one, it applies more textures to it, which would be these, uh, I'm assuming they're bubbles. They don't seem to have a texture applied to them. Uh, but I'm thinking you can probably apply a texture. To turn it off, click on the uh, this arrow, turn it back to zero. And for those parameters, when it comes to turning it on again, let's click on, click on that and turn it back on. You have these parameters here to adjust the size of uh, the bubbles. The, you can randomize them as much as you'd like to. They're all different sizes now. Uh, increase or decrease the amount of them. And so on and so forth. And there's a layer B also. Same process. Turn it on by pressing 1. Um, can uh, adjust the size of them on the inside, general size in general, randomize them, and so on and so forth. And that's all the parameters. But yeah, this is a pretty nice little add-on, the uh, Fluid Painter add-on. Once again, you can just choose whatever fluid you want that's available. Let's click on all again. And then just uh, be as creative as you like to be. Yeah, and that's today's Blender Quick Tip. And once again, thank you guys who have subscribed in the past, and thank you guys who are watching too. Hopefully this tutorial on this add-on is helpful for those who are, of you who are watching. And I thank you guys who are subscribing now, and those of you who will subscribe in the future. And I will see you guys on the next one. Alright, adios.